Yes. And I feel the Lord speaking to me concerning this period. I feel him asking me to create an atmosphere in our activities, particularly the 7 p.m. programs, where we can develop ourselves as persons, as families, where we can develop also a stronger church family. You know, and one of the things he says I, I if, well, if he started put in my mind to do is to introduce activities during the 7 p.m. program that will help us, you know, be better, come out stronger after this COVID-19 um, lockdown has come to an end. Because it will come, come, come to an end. Life will continue after this. There's life after COVID-19 lockdown. We need to be prepared for that life. And one of the things that has been it's been putting in my heart it's for instance to also introduce into the 7 p.m program programs like self-development programs you know like you know business talk you know how can we start business in this environment how can we start online businesses you know it used to be said that you know the world is moving towards you know online uh, businesses but you see now we have no choice. We can see that we actually are there. We're in a season where a lot of things have gone online and we need to be prepared for uh, for that, to take up. Well, so, and, you know, in that regard, self-development, I also feel the Lord asking us to showcase our individual skills, our marketable skills. I mean, we, I believe within us, we have lots of skills that are marketable. Um, there's no reason why I should go and buy and pay for a service somewhere else when there's somebody my brother and sister in the church who has that kind of service to give or that kind of pro product to sell so i feel that we need to have a time where we can showcase what, what we can do and so we all know to be able to be you know, a reference for each other you know and the other thing that i feel the lord asking uh, also introduce is family talk you know there are many things about the family that we need to discuss uh, marriages how to have better marriages how to you know, have uh, create an environment in our homes that is peaceful, that's the kind of home that God would like us to have. Um, health issues. There are many of us who, you know, need to um, take our health seriously and need to observe some things that will improve our well-being. You know, and there are other things that we can do in family talk, family finance, family altar. How can we make a family altar more interesting for our children and for our, ourselves? These are issues that we can we can discuss on the family talk, you know. And also, I felt the Lord tell, tell, also, you know, let, let, let me know that we can have games too. We can relax as a family. It doesn't have to be always worship, you know, the word and prayer. We can have days in which we just have games, you know, where we can relax and, you know, just have a, 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 a good time in God's presence. It was Christ who told his disciples, look, you work too much sometimes. I want you to, you know, withdraw, have time to relax, have time to rest. You know, so it's well in line with what God is asking us to do in this season. You know, and so what I want us to do is, I want us to be ready to, you know, for instance, um, let us know, you know, what kind of activities you will particularly like to get to learn. Okay, in, in the self-development, what kind of skills would you like to learn? In the area of showcasing your marketable skills, what do you have that you'd like to show, 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 showcase? Let us know so we can, you know, plug you into the days in which we have the, those, those uh, business activities or self-development activities. Also, are there topics that are, that are you particular about in the family talk that you'd like us to, to deal with? Now, let me make you a, pro a promise here. See, if we don't have anybody within us to deal with a topic, I am ready to ask experts or professionals in other areas to come talk to us. I have a, a, a bit of con connections in some places, and if it's something that um, we cannot, we don't have in-house talk to us, I'll ask somebody from outside to come and and, and speak to us about that, that issue. You know, sometimes what we need is not really a super duper expert, but we need somebody to provoke our thinking, you know, to think differently about the simple thing that we already know. And so I want to I'm just let you know that no, no matter what you 
what you want to know, we it's possible to find somebody who can speak to us about it. Okay, and also in the games, are there games that you know that will be interesting for us to do? And of course, you realize that we cannot be in the same location, so it has to be a game that in our different places we can all participate. You know, these are some of the things that the Lord God is asking us to do, or at least put in my heart to to um, create in this time of um, COVID-19 lockdown. I want to assure you of something. COVID-19 lockdown will end. And when it ends, many of us will not have to crank ourselves up. Many of us will have to run. Many of us will have to fly. Because we'll have a short window to do everything that God has called us to do after this lockdown ends. We need to be prepared as individuals. We need to be prepared as families. We need to be prepared as a church to take off immediately this lockdown ends because it will end. Because God, God's purpose in your life has not been done yet. So I just feel to share this with us and I want to encourage us. There's so much more God wants, wants to do with the Comforter Center family. And you are part of that thing. You are part of that great move of God. So let's 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 contribute ideas, you know, be there to participate, and let's help, you know, achieve that which God has put in our in our hearts. God bless you. I'm so proud to be, you know, part of you as a family, and I'm really really looking forward to so much more that God wants to do with us together. God bless you. Have a blessed weekend. Bye for now.